Hey, it's your boy Dodger, and welcome back to a brand new type of video where we're going to be talking about England and a World Cup squad, but we're going to be taking to Qatar, a 23 man squad. So let me just start this off by saying these are my opinions, an opinion of a guy who plays Call of Duty and Pokemon for a living. So don't worry, you probably know more than me, but this is just a squad that I want to take and a formation that I want to take, which is 4 5 1. I think that's how we're going to work best as a team. Screw the five at the back. Four five one is the way England should be going forward, in my opinion. But let's get started in this by answering a question you can see right at the top. Should Harry Maguire be picked by England despite his form at Manchester United? And my answer to that is, you'll find out later on in the video. But first we're going to pick goalkeepers. And quite honestly, Pickford is not going. This isn't a Gareth Southgate squad, this is a Dodger squad. And Dodger says Pickford just ain't it. Pure and simple. Look at him today. Where did Everton finish? But he went down this season. It's not all of Pickford's fault. It's not all of the squad's fault. It's just, no. I don't think he should be going. I think Ramsdale should be starting over him and being our first keeper, first team keeper going forward for England. He's been amazing, sensational for Arsenal. Sensational. And plus, the way he talks to the fans and like winds them up when he's at the games is just hilarious to me. So he's going behind him. Sam Johnston and Nick Pope. Those are my three keepers. Sam Johnston, I think, is going to be picked up by a very, very good uh, Premier League squad uh, team. Now he's a free agent from West Brom. I think Newcastle might pick him up. And if they do, I think it's going to be a really good signing for them. Because I think Johnston is absolutely amazing. I think he's an amazing keeper. Nick Pope, reliability. He's been there, done that, been there, done it before. Can maybe nurture the younger Ramsdale and Johnston if they get to play. I want him there to be our guy in the dressing room for the key for the keepers. People were saying we're taking this guy for the squad. No, the squad it plays different, outgoing to the people who are in goal. Let's be honest. So Nick Pope goes to me to be that voice in the dressing room for Ramsdale and Johnston. Anyway, on to the defenders, and this has to answer this question right after I pick the other defenders. I think should be going. Ben White is the second best that probably had. Best defender at the minute, uh, alongside Tamori, because Tamori, let's be honest, he plays in the Italian league, which is best known for what? Oh, defending. Gareth Southgate, you love defender and defensive plays. Why has he not been going? Why has he not been starting? Why has he not even been near the squad? Sort your head out, man. Should be going. Tamori goes. Maguire, yes, he goes. Of course he does. Of course he does. Listen, United's different. Ronaldo's just come in. You know, Ronaldo should have had the captaincy. I'm a Leicester City fan through and through. But Maguire should not have that captaincy. It's weighed heavily on his shoulders in a team that is broken. Pure and simply broken. That team, as a whole team, shouldn't be nowhere near the top six, the top eight, the top ten. Ronaldo has brought them there. De Gea should be gone, long gone by now. Henderson should be playing for them. You didn't even talk about Henderson. I think if Henderson moves to a different club this season... He's going to be in the England squad. And I'm going to revisit this video towards uh, the World Cup style, so October, november time, when the season started. But I guarantee if Henderson moves to a different team, we'll be talking different keepers going to uh, Qatar. But Maguire goes to me. And as a Leicester fan, I know how good he is. I know how good he is. I know how good he can play. He might be a little broken right now mentally wise in his head. But I think Gareth Southgate and being away from... The Manchester squad is going to be no do nothing but help the man. Because he is, I don't care, but he's so bad at it. He is an amazing defender. And don't kid yourself. You know it's true. He's shown it before. When he was at Leicester, when he was at Hull, he's a great player. So don't sleep on him. He's going. Also going is, so I was checking my notes. We got Mings going as well. Just because, again, don't kid yourself. He was great for us in the Euros. He just was, pure and simply. He put in a shift, he worked hard, he played He played, played hard, got us through some tough times, defended pretty well. He's going for me, he deserves to go. And anybody who says different doesn't know football, pure and simple. Now, like I said, I'm just a guy who plays Call of Duty and Pokemon for a living, but if you're going to tell me that Mings isn't a good uh, defender, then you, you just know that football, for, it's pure and simple. You can, you can say you don't like the guy, don't like the way he plays. But he's a goddamn good defender. He's playing in the top tier of English football. The best league in the world. And there's a reason for that. 
So he goes to me. Uh, I was going to say I was going to take Margoy here as well if I wasn't going to pick Mins. It's just I don't think he's got the... Um, what's, the oh, what's the word? He hasn't got the... Uh, I can't think of the word. He just isn't going for me because he, he just... He hasn't played enough for England. He hasn't been around... He's been around the squads. He's been playing really well for England. I just don't think he's played enough to go. If you ask me, I think next season, though, we're talking Euros next time, I think he's going to be going ahead of a couple of the players I've picked here, but not third right now. And let's go on to our wingers. Let's just get this out right now. Trent Alexander-Arnold, not going. No. I think he's suffered a lot mentally this season. Uh, for Liverpool, they're on for the quadruple, and unfortunately they lost the Premier League title on the, the last day of the season. They lost in the final to Real Madrid of the Champions League. I don't think his mentality is there at the minute. Also, we didn't take him for Euros, and look how well we did. A lot of people say he was that missing piece. No, no, don't kid yourself. No, no. We we'll just played too defensive in the Euros. Alexander Arnold is an amazing defender. Let me get. Let me make this point real quick. He can defend. I don't just mean he can defend. He can put in a shift. He can freaking defend. He's a great defender. But, and going forward, I mean, he's miles above the rest when it comes to wing backs. But, assists, crossing, passing, all that stuff. It's all good. It's great. He's probably the best at it in his position. But, saying that, he isn't the best for England just talking England's right backs, isn't the best defending. He's a great defender, like I've said, and he can defend. I just don't think he's got the strength to be able to push a man off the ball. I don't think he's got the strength to put in a, a decent, uh, well, he can do a decent tackle, but I don't think he's got the, the, the stuff to like, you know, get in there and challenge. I think Reese James is just not better than Trent Alexander-Arnold, because Trent is better. And if Trent was probably a winger, <laughs> And didn't have the likes of Sane and Mane and uh, or uh, Diaz in that squad. I think uh, I, if I was me and I'm, I'm Klopp, I'd be playing him as a, a winger. I'm just saying. But for me, Reese James goes. He's been putting in a great shift for Chelsea this season, despite the lack of goals from Lukaku. James has been getting quite a few goals. Good assists, putting crosses in, passes in, just like Trent does. But I think James is just a better defender for him through. It's not by much, but I just think the strength that Reese James has over Trent is going to mean a lot for us in the World Cup. Over Trent's going. So Reece James goes for me. Chilwell starts on the left. Trippier goes as that the right player, left right. Can even start over Chilwell, in my opinion. Uh, James Justin goes because I'm a Leicester fan. I want to get my Leicester man in here because Madison's not going for me. Spoilers. Uh, James Justin goes for me. And uh, who else have I written down here? Tyree Mitchell. I think he needs to go for the experience. And he's going straight up for me. Uh, is that all the ones I've picked? Joe James, Justin, Trippier, Mitchell. Yes, it is. Let's move on to our 13th pick here, Declan Rice. I mean, no debate here. I don't think anyone's going to debate Declan Rice. Should, should not be going. Of course he's going. Mason Mount goes. The friendship those two have. I just think Mount is our best centre attack in mid. Um, if it isn't him going forward, it'll be somebody else going to talk uh, in that position, centre attack in mid. If it isn't Mount, it's going to be the, uh, another person we're going to speak about a little later on in the video. But apart from that, we got Bellingham going alongside Rice, because like I said, I'm playing a five in midfield. Rice, Bellingham, two wingers, central attack in mid, Mount, or a person we're going to talk about in a little later, and a strike up top by himself. And then after that, we got Jacob Ramsey, again for experience, and he's a damn good player, just like what he's been doing with the Aston Villa alongside Coutinho. <laughs> and if <laughs> Aston Villa sign Luis Suarez next season, I think they're going to be pushing for Europe. I'm not even, I'm not even joking, I'm be doing one of those videos. Uh, coming up soon, so look out for that. Uh, my predictions for the Premier League and stuff like that. <laughs> James Madison isn't going for me. He's been Leicester's best player going forward. Um, this, well, he's been the best player in those that kind of position. He, he's got the most goals for us. Ask me the best player for um, Leicester, and I'd be picking him in the squad if he was on the list. Is uh, Kieran Dewsby Hall, KDH. He has carried... KDH has carried Leicester this season. People might say, no. Watch him on the ball. Watch the passes he makes. The positions he gets into. The, just, just the way he 
progressively goes forward and gets back. He, he's probably our best player this season, him and Luke Thomas, which is another player who's really close to making my squad here, Luke Thomas. But yeah, keep an eye on KDH. Next World Cup predictions? Trust me, he'd be going there. Mark my words. Probably not as a Leicester player, but mark my words. <laughs> uh, Jack Grealish goes over Foden. I just... I rate, I, I rate Foden. I think he's a great player. Um, he's great in a lot of areas. He just isn't outstanding in one position. Whereas Grealish will get us those fouls, get us the free kicks, some of that. And he can do everything that Foden needs to do in Grealish's position. So, Grealish goes to me. Saka goes and he starts. Pure and simple, Saka starts. Yeah, he just starts to me. Saka's just been... He's an amazing player, what can I say? He's just an amazing player. And... We're going to move on to the strikers now. Well, the what's down for strikers? Harry Kane goes for me. Uh, number 19. He goes in for me. He's just our best striker. Pure and simple. But I would not be starting him every single game. Tammy Abraham will be putting shifts in and starting for us as well in group stages. Maybe even in the quarterfinals. If we make it that, way, uh, that far. <laughs> Tammy Abraham's, again, been great this season. I think he deserves to go. I think he deserves to start some of the games. Just pure and simple, you just get it to start. Those two are my two strikers. Kane and the sub. Abraham, swap them over for some games. Pure and simple. I think we're, we're going to get more goals, swapping them over, than just starting one and bringing me one under like 60, half an hour half an hour left to go. Just think that's going to be better for us. Uh, Jared Bowen goes to me, just because of the season he's had. And I can't deny that he's had a great season. Uh, James Sancho also goes to me. This is uh, another player that's amazing. Kind of had a bit of a bum deal at United, but he's been one of those outstanding stars for United that's been going forward. And we know the quality of Sancho. We've seen the quality of Sancho. I just think he needs to go. And uh, here's the thing I was talking about with uh, Mount. If Mount doesn't start, Sterling starts. And of course Sterling goes. Of course he does. Like, I'll be I'll be the first to admit in the Euros. I was like, why are we starting Sterling over these guys, this guy, or this guy? He proved it. He's, he scored the most goals for us. He's England through and through. He goes and he starts centre attacking mid for me. I think that now he's getting a little bit older. That's the best place for him to be behind Kane, behind uh, an Abraham to be able to uh, like false nine type of position. Just smashes it in, gets behind, makes the place forward, gets the pass from a striker, gets a nice cross in, scores. He will do that and he'll score many, many goals for us in the World Cup. I don't want him on the wings. Maybe, let me make that clear right now. I don't want him on the wings. I want him in the middle. Him and Mount, swap them over, interchangeable, just like Kane and Tab uh, Abraham we were talking about. Barry goes for me for the experience. Sancho goes, uh, he might not start every game. Um, Grealish might start, but yeah. I think this is a decent squad. This is my 23. Let me know your thoughts and your team in the comments section down below. Like I said, we're doing more videos on, on football, so look forward for a Premier League video coming uh, my predictions for that, my predictions for Championship. Stuff like that. I'll be doing videos like that. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And I will see you guys in the next one. Try, guys. Ta-ra.